So the multi-view, multi means many, so it's many views, specifically three views, the front, the top, and the right. So you can title this page, multi-view intro, designed by, put your name here, and the date. Now, we're going to do these with our books this way, turned so we have the landscape view. Now, our front view is always going to be put over here in the bottom left corner. And the best thing to do is just to start and write the word front in that bottom left corner because that's going to make it we can't use this very bottom line. We don't want to be using that line. So now we have to start above it. And then I like to go maybe two over and three up to start. Two, one, two over, one, two, three up. So that's going to be the bottom left corner of our front view. So from there, we're going to go up. And we're doing this at half scale. So it's four inches, so two inches. Each one of these sides of this square is a quarter inch, one fourth of an inch. So one inch is four. We need two inches, so we need to go eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then with your ruler on that line, connect the dots. Now, we're going to turn right and go across. So the whole thing is eight inches, but if we measure, this is six inches but we're doing it half, so we're going to make it three inches. So we need three times four, 12. Take your ruler and draw your straight line. Now it turns and it goes down. And that's one inch, so we're going to make it a half inch. So we need one quarter and one quarter. We need two. So one, two, and then the bottom of that notch is two inches, so it'll be one inch on our drawing, so that's four, three inches from that corner to the bottom, but we're doing it at half scale, so it's one and a half inches, so it's four, and then Half inch is two, so six. Take your ruler, draw your straight line. Now if we've done everything correctly, connecting here on the same line all the way across gives us our bottom. So there is the front view. So now our top view has to be directly above the front view. So to do that, every one of these lines that goes towards the top we're going to lightly draw what's called a construction line. And the best way to do that with your pencil, put the ruler on the line, and then grab the pencil at the very end, not down by the tip, not by the lead, but at the very end by the eraser, and then drag it, just drag it along behind your hand. Every line. So this one also goes to the top. So we put a construction line there, and then here's another one. So we have these three construction lines. Another thing it does is we're transferring this dimension because in the top view, that dimension will be the same. Or how deep is it? How far will it go back? two inch so on our half scale it's one inch so that's four squares one two three four and then I can darken that and there's that line for that side same thing on the other side now you'll notice on the top view that these two parts here are not the same face they're at different levels to show that 
we have to put a line separating those two faces. That's called a visible line, and that's the line separating those two faces. So that is our top view. So we'll label that up here. For the right view, we also have to draw our construction lines. So every one of these lines on the front view that goes right and left, we need to lightly bring across to the right. Now this is why we put the front view in the bottom left, because our right view we want on the right side of it. So to do that, we need space on the right, so we have to move the front to the bottom left. So it's going to have the same dimension from bottom to top, and that's what these lines show us. We need to put information in between them, some, so I'm going to count over about eight. And I know that it's going to go from bottom to top. It's going to be the same height total as the front view, and it's two inches deep, so one inch in our half scale, so one, two, three, four, same at the bottom, one, two, three, four, and then up. Anytime you have a construction line that crosses your drawing like that, you probably have to do something with it. Look at your right side. Is it all one face? No, you've got two separate faces. So you have a line right there separating them, not at the same level. They're not the same face. So then we will label this right. So a multi-view shows three views, and they are two-dimensional. So each one of these drawings shows two dimensions. So I'm going to show you what the dimensions are. And if we were really doing this and putting the measurements, instead of putting the words that I'm going to be putting, we'd actually be putting the numbers. This dimension from here to here is the width. comes from the word wide. And notice, because of the construction lines, it's the same here as it is up here. But one thing with dimensions is that you only need to put them once. You don't need to show the same dimensions twice. So we could put it here or we could put it up top. So the front view shows the width. It also shows from here to here is the height. And that's the same on the right view. But we only put it in one place. So the front view shows the width and the height. The top view shows the width. But what's this other from here to here? This is the depth, deep. That's how deep it is, how far it goes back away from you. The top view is showing you the width across here and the depth. What is the right view? Well, the right view, like we said, is showing the height, which is the same as in the front view. But what's this one? Which dimension is this? If this comes over, and then you turn it and it goes down. That's also showing the depth. So the right view shows the height and the depth. You would label the depth either here on the top view or here on the right view, but not both. So that is what a multi-view looks like. Three views, front, top, right dimensions showing the width, the height, and the depth.